Okay, we've got some pretty healthy looking food in front of us yes, here. Yes, we have. Why, why would you call those superfoods? Well, what we have here are foods that they're all high in fiber um, and they all contain prebiotic fibers as well. So what are prebiotic fibers? So prebiotic fibers are fibers that encourage the growth of the good bacteria, if you like, beneficial bacteria. And they're usually fructans and galacto-oligosaccharides. Um, and they're very rich in, well actually all these foods, are very rich in all these foods, particularly the legumes mm -hmm. and, and the rye bread. So um, these foods here are very high in, I guess, prebiotic fibres and fibre. But these foods, which are the legumes, there's barley there, but couscous and rye, rye bread are very high in fibre, prebiotics and also resistant starch. So, okay, so they've got all the key things there. They've got, yeah, they've got everything in one package. Because a lot of people would think they're eating high fibre if they eat you know, a couple of apples a day or have you know, bran for breakfast, but yes. there's more to the fibre story. There is more. <clears throat> there, that's obviously very important to have the apple and the bran is uh, important, but these um, are very rich in fibre and they have um, just the whole selection of different types of fibre that, that we want. So it's important to just try and include more of these foods in, in your diet. And resistant starch is a kind of fibre. Resistant starch is a kind of fibre. So resistant starch is starch that's not digested in the small intestine, so it also arrives in the large bowel where the bacteria can act on it. Um, and it is very high in starch-containing foods, but particularly high in these foods, which are the legumes and pulses, um, and rye bread, um, barley and couscous as well. So it's very, very high in these foods. So this, um, the whole gut bacteria story seems to have just boomed over the last few years. Yes. Has that changed our understanding of what a good diet is and what a bad diet is? I think it's helping us understand what really the important role fibre can, can have in a diet. And I think that we probably need to think of how we can feed our bacteria in our gut a bit better. So think of it as a garden. Um, where you have to really provide the, the best nutrition for, for your healthy gut flora. And um, it may be even a better way to change the balance of um, different bugs in your gut is by feeding them the right type of carbohydrate um, rather than relying on um, drinking probiotics and things like that. This might be a much more effective way of encouraging the good bacteria to grow.